This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Bet Fred. We're at the win ahead of Josh Warrington versus Sofian Takuch tomorrow evening. With me, challenging for the Commonwealth title on tomorrow's bill, Emmanuel Anim. First of all, Emmanuel, welcome to England. How are you? I'm very good. That's good to hear. Now, I want to start with the press conference. You and Lind Lyndon Arthur had some choice words. You faced each other Saturday night for the Commonwealth title. You said Lyndon was an average boxer. That turned a few heads. You guys had a bit of back and forth. Could you just elaborate a bit on what did you mean by that? Yeah, what I meant was, uh, is sorry, uh, Lyndon Arthur is not a, uh, is not a boxer who can beat me or who can take me down. So I think when I checked his record, I fought nobody. That's why I'm saying he's the average boxer. And the way I'm seeing him and his style of fighting, he can't beat me. So I think I will be the champion. Now, Emmanuel, I must ask, uh, Lyndon Arthur, someone who's quite hi highly rated over here, have you seen much footage of him? Do you know what his weaknesses are, potentially, that you could exploit tomorrow evening? What do you see his weaknesses are? Okay, um, he don't protect himself. He don't raise his hands up. He always live in hands. Because the opponent he was fighting, they can't counter him. So always he bring his hands down. So I'm going to show him that he's not my type and I'm going to show him his wickedness. Now, Emmanuel, I'm just going to bring in your manager, Jacob. Uh, welcome to the UK, first and foremost. Secondly, you guys are very confident. We're speaking off camera. What have you seen that makes you so sure that your man captures the Commonwealth title tomorrow evening? Well, like you said, um, Lyndon is an average boxer. I haven't seen anyone uh, standing out of all the opponents I've seen. Um, I've seen him go probably the distance in, um, in a few fights, but I don't think he's had any 10-round fights and I don't think he's had any 12-round fights, right? Um, I think he's right. He's just an average fighter and uh, the, the, the plan is to, is, to, is to pick him up, pick him apart uh, on that night. Uh, we've seen a few flaws in his style. Of course, we, um, we are smart enough not to say anything now. We'll take our game, our game into the fight on Saturday and, um, and hopefully uh, by the end of the fight, we'll, we'll, we're going to be victorious. But um, make no mistake, we're very confident. Unlike other um, events that you've seen in the past, this, is, this, is, this guy has the pedigree. He hasn't had the opportunity. This is the first opportunity he's had. And we are coming out with all guns blazing. And we have a surprise for you. I know Lyndon is highly rated around here. But we've been around the sports for a very long time. And I know um, an excellent fighter. And I know a, um, a fighter with a very good pedigree. He is decent. He is a very personable guy. Um, I think it's very likable, but um, I have bad news for you. We're taking the title back to Ghana. Now, for those that haven't seen Emmanuel fight, what can we expect stylistically from him tomorrow night? What kind of fighter is he? He's a pressure fighter. Um, you can, he's, he's a crossbreed between a brawler and, um, and, and, um, and a puncher. He's going to be coming forward all night. He can take a punch. And one thing we haven't asked of Lyndon is, we, we see him dishing out the punches, but can he take it? Have you seen him take it? So we're going to find out on Saturday, right? Boxing is about skills, brains, and guts, right? We're going to combine everything. We're going to come into the ring, and, and, and uh, we're going to show our leads in and, um, and the UK what Emmanuel is made of. And uh, come the end of the night, we're taking the title back to Ghana. Now, Emmanuel, we were talking there about how you haven't had your chance in the pro game just yet. You're seeing this as your big chance. I understand you, you had quite a decent amateur career, fought a lot of amateur fighters that we might know. Could you tell us a bit about the kind of names you fought in the amateurs? Okay, um, I fought the shop watcher in amateur, but it wasn't in Olympic game because he came to Ghana. He was trying to join the amateur team. So you have to justify with me. And I beat him, including later on. So I think if we put our eyes down now, the Shabachi is one of the toughest boxers in England here. And I think he's a, if I won't open my eyes and say it, he's the number one or he's the one they think he can be a world champion at the moment. And the moment I beat him and I couldn't join the Ghana team to go to Olympic game, I said to myself, I'm going to be a champion. So I think I'm good enough to be a champion. Emmanuel, I appreciate you weighing in very soon and I've kept you for quite a while. I'll leave the final word with yourselves. What do we see tomorrow, tomorrow evening in Leeds? Okay, tomorrow 
I'm going to show up best and a good performance ever because I'm ready for this title and I want it. I was dreaming that one day I'll be here and fighting Commonwealth title. And by God's grace, my dream has come true. So tomorrow, it's going to be fireworks to tomorrow. It's definitely going to be fireworks. Um, I would advise everyone to tune in and see this fight. Uh, I know um, Lennon is, um, is held, Lloyd is um, held in, um, I'm sorry, um, Lennon is held in a very high um, esteem here. But um, this is the first time we're going to see him tested. And I keep saying that. We're going to test him. We're going to take him to the deep waters. And he has a few questions to answer. Hopefully come um, tomorrow night, we're going to find answers to those questions. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck. I'll see you tomorrow evening.